Hey, Gray Steel Nation, Sully here with the Barbell Prescription, keeping you strong, healthy, and more fully alive in your 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond. Thanks for subscribing. In my specialty, emergency medicine, we often say time is brain, time is gut, or time is muscle. These aphorisms reflect the urgency of preserving critical tissues that are in danger of being lost without restoration of blood flow or relief of pressure. In the setting of stroke or cerebral ischemia, blood flow must be restored or the patient will lose brain tissue, which is every bit as bad as it sounds. In the setting of mesenteric ischemia, circulation to the gut is impaired, and without remediation, the patient will end up with dead bowel, which carries an extremely high mortality. When emergency docs say time is muscle, they mean heart muscle, which is being lost every minute that a coronary artery remains blocked. Other forms of tissue destruction are more gradual and apparently less urgent, but almost as devastating. Loss of pancreatic beta cells due to metabolic syndrome and burnout results in progressive and eventually irreversible type 2 diabetes. Loss of bone tissue culminates in full-blown osteoporosis and eventually pathological fractures that can cripple or kill. Loss of cartilage, well, I don't have to tell you how much that sucks. Tissue loss due to injury, illness, and chronic degeneration are part of aging, and not a good part. Loss of brain or heart tissue is potentially devastating, of course, and when I was practicing emergency medicine, they were a primary focus of my work. Entire critical care teams stood ready to intervene if I identified a patient with a stroke or a heart attack. With one phone call, I could have a cardiac patient whisked away to the cath lab to open a coronary, or activate a stroke team to treat a cerebral infarction with clot buster. Dying gut was a surgical emergency, and a quick trip to the interventional radiology suite, or the OR. Any delay in diagnosis and intervention? Not acceptable. Time is tissue. In emergency medicine practice, the loss of bone and beta cell mass and cartilage due to slow degeneration is rather less urgent. Although at some level we recognize that such degeneration is serious, it isn't emergent. It's something for the patient's primary physician to deal with. The problem, of course, is that all too often it isn't dealt with. Modern medicine is fixated on medical interventions with pharmaceuticals and procedures and oh, all right then, eat better and get some exercise. So, time is heart and brain and gut. But time is also bone, cartilage, and beta cell mass. And time is also skeletal muscle. When emergency docs say time is muscle, you can bank odds we're not talking about the patient's hamstrings, hip abductors, and shoulders. We're talking about heart muscle, and that's appropriate in the emergency department. But if somebody, like say the patient or his primary doctor, had emphasized that time is also skeletal muscle, then we might have avoided altogether a scenario in which time is heart muscle. Check this out because it's important. We are now well past the stage where physiology understood skeletal muscle as only a motor organ. Elaborate, miraculous, beautifully engineered, yes, but a motor organ nonetheless. It is most certainly that, but thanks to the groundbreaking work of Peterson and many others, we now know that it is much more. Muscle is now understood by biologists to be a secretory organ, a gland. Dozens of signaling molecules are released by muscle, and receptors for these signaling molecules are found in muscle itself, in pancreas, liver, fat tissue, bone, gut, immune tissues, brain, and heart. These myokine signaling molecules regulate metabolism, sleep, neuroplasticity, inflammation, fat accretion, appetite, cardiac and bone remodeling, and many other processes. So, the effects of muscle as a gland are every bit as far-reaching and important for health and for healthy aging as those of the thyroid or the adrenals. This is both good and bad because the myokine profile of trained exercising muscle is different from that of untrained atrophic sedentary muscle. Untrained muscle 
therefore has direct and unhealthy signaling impacts on inflammation, fat storage, cardiac modeling, brain tissue modeling and retention, bone density, and metabolism. Even if muscle were merely a motor organ, its retention and training would be mandatory for healthy aging. Strong muscle yanks on bones in a way that mechanically stimulates them to grow. Exercising muscle consumes calories and indirectly exercises the heart and lungs to their benefit. Trained muscle tissue increases our strength, power, endurance, balance, body composition, and resistance to injury and illness. That's all good and absolutely essential for healthy aging. But we now know that trained muscle is also a trained gland, the most massive gland in the body, and that maintaining that gland in a healthy condition is critical for healthy aging in ways that transcend the mechanical effects of training our muscles and making them bigger and stronger. Training our muscles preserves more than just strength and function. Training muscle preserves other tissues as well by maintaining a myokine profile that signals to the entire organism that it's not even close to done living. That's why we talk about training as a medicine and the proper administration of a strength training program as the formulation and administration of a prescription, a barbell prescription for healthy aging. This prescription targets every tissue in the body, brain, heart, bone, liver, pancreas, but its route of administration, if you will, is through training of the muscle tissue the gland that keeps us strong and healthy as long as we keep using it and training it. That's the barbell prescription in a nutshell. So, in the catastrophic arena of emergency medicine, time, in minutes, is heart and brain. But in the arena of life, time, in years, is skeletal muscle. If we take that time, now, to train muscle rather than lose it, then skeletal muscle is also heart and brain. With a proper exercise prescription, diligence, good diet, building and retaining muscle tissue in the gym year by year, we may never find ourselves in an emergency room losing heart and brain tissue by the second. Tell us what you think in the comments and keep watching. We've got more great content on aging healthy and strong with a barbell prescription coming right up.